What is up? Thank you for coming to my channel, Prison POV. Shout out to the joiners. Shout out to the point of view crew. And boy, we're going to do something different today. We're going to do something very different. Today, we're not going to talk about wild, crazy prison stories from my prison career. Nor are we going to talk about some wild street stories and all my street antics. No. Today, we're going to talk about a couple other prison YouTubers. Which shouldn't really come as a, as a surprise to you that I've taken this route. Because you know, I'm nosy and I like to gossip. I'm going to gossip today about a couple... Prison YouTubers. Now, who am I talking about? I'm talking about Dubs and Gunner. We're going to talk about that individually, and then we're going to talk about how they became buddies. I don't know if they're buddies anymore or not. Let's just, let's just put the puzzle pieces together. There's a story there somewhere. I'm not saying I have the whole story, but I'm going to raise some questions and put the puzzle piece together. But Dubs, let's talk about Dubs. Dubs is a prison YouTuber. He's a South Sider, he's a lifer, a YA baby, and he's active. And quiet at his kept. That was my favorite YouTube channel for a long time. Cats out of the bag. I don't even watch prison YouTube channels. None of them I really like, to be honest. I don't, I don't watch them. However, there's always an exception to every rule. I watch dubs. I like the dubs prison YouTube channel. Because I'm institutionalized. I'm an institutionalized California convict, homeboy, who's on the streets. I discharge my numbers. I'm not going back. But hey, there's part of me that misses it sometimes. You ever heard of faded effect bias? I do sometimes think back to prison and think, man, I'm missing things. I'd be miserable. I'd hate it if I was in there today. But come on now. Of course, I think back to good times. And Dubs reminds me of prison. The way he talks, the way he moves, his whole persona is exactly like a level 4 Southsider. Bro, they all move and act pretty much the same like Dubs. You want to know what a Southsider from level 4 prison looks like? Dubs, homeboy. I liked his stories. They resonated with me. I liked his channel. Now, when I liked him and I started watching his channel, he would get 2,000 views per video. Not a, he wasn't getting a lot of views. And I remember one time he said something too. He was complaining about his views. He's like, man, my views are real low. He's like, YouTube's messing with me. He goes, I know what it is. It's because I'm Raza. He goes, you know, there's three of us that are getting low views. And all of us are hinte, homeboy. We're all Raza. And that's why. And I was thinking, dubs. Get the fuck out of here with that, homeboy. My views are suffering too. And I'm white as snow. Happens to all of us. How can you step up here and say, my views are struggling? Oh, it's because I'm Raza. That's why. YouTube's picking on me because I'm Hispanic. Yeah, right, bro. Shh. Dude, half of my people don't even get my notifications. I think that's just the way it is. Bro. He didn't get shit for views, but he had some badass stories, homeboy. And I was there. I tuned in and checked in every time he had a video. I like to steal him, dog. Then, out of the blue, Dubs and Gunner become good buddies. And I remember how it started, man. I was there. I saw it unfold. You know how it started? You know how Dubs and Gunner start becoming real good buddies? Dubs called them out with a little dance video. My recollection, from my point of view, that's, that's when it started. Dubs made a short. I don't, I guess maybe Gunner did some dance video prior to that. But then Dubs responded with it. Called Gunner out. Like, oh yeah, Gunner, you know, you can't see me. And he was in a bar, he probably had a couple of drinks in him. You know, Dub's doing the, the body wave, homeboy. And he's, hey, Gunner, check me out, homeboy. And he called Gunner out with some dance moves. I remember that happening. And I remember thinking, Dubs, why are you an active level four Southsider trying to tap in to this Dropout Northerners program? I didn't get it. But then I thought, you know what? Gunner's getting 20 some thousand views per video. Dubs is getting 2,000 views per video. They're both YA babies. I don't know what kind of communication they got going behind the scenes. And that's just what I figured. I figured they probably bonded over YA. And I figured Dubs was trying to better his channel. Hook up with someone who's doing much better than he is. 
maybe get his name thrown out there. I figured he had an angle on boy, an ulterior motive. Other than just he woke up one day and just thought Gunner was a great guy. I figured they bonded over being YA babies. Because dudes that been to YA, bro, they, they, I don't want to say they think they're better than everybody else. But they think they're better than everybody else. And back in the day, you couldn't even be a Nazi little writer unless you'd been to YA. YA is where NLR, YA is where NLR started. So those fools are YA babies some boy and they're talking and kicking it. Dubs calls them out with some kind of dance moves and then Gunner dances back and next thing you know they're they're meeting and they're hanging out and talking and doing lives and they're buddy buddy. Now Gunner, my experience with him, I remember when he started his channel. I, I watched one of his very first videos. You know what I remember about that is he abused the word right. Some people, it's hard being a public speaker. And don't some people abuse the word right? They use it as punctuation. You know, blah, 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 right? Blah, 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 right? And then blah, 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 right? And I remember him just abusing the word right. And I even made a comment. And I said, hey, it's a drinking game. Take a shot every time he says right. And you know what he said to me? He said right. Which I thought that was cool. I thought that was funny. I was really trying to give him a heads up without telling him what to do. As a matter of fact, there's a good friend of mine who's into public speaking. I saw him a couple of days ago and he also, a friend of mine, was abusing the word right. I'm going to have to get at him. Help a buddy out. Just like if a homeboy has a booger in his nose, it could be painful and uncomfortable to say, Hey dog, I got a booger in your nose. But you're helping him out. It could be painful and awkward saying, Dude, quit abusing the word right. I mean, when I started my YouTube channel, I did all kinds of things wrong. I would smack... I would have soda and I would talk and sip. One time I had a water and a rock star and I was just double fisted, homie. It's tough being a du it's tough being a public speaker. Also, Gunner threw it out there one time. He told me that he patterned his YouTube channel after mine. I'll take that as a compliment. In case he saw my channel, saw the way we did it. We just push record and run with the stories. Try to hit it with a little bit of humor. And he does the same thing. Some people say he's humorous. I've seen a handful of his videos. I've cracked a laugh. Now trip on this soap. Do you remember when Hoodstocks? Do you remember when Hoodstocks had a guest on and someone called in? Now Hoodstocks is another YouTube channel. Shout out to Lucky Sun Tzu. I went on a Hoodstocks. It's a good channel, brother. Now Hoodstocks had a guest on. They're there to podcast. They have people come in their studio. It's a podcast style setup. They had a guest and that guest was talking about how he was associated. No, no, no. Someone called in and put that guest on blast and said, Hey, didn't you hang out with or do an interview or go on Convict's Perspective? Which is another dropout northerner YouTube channel. And the guy said, Yeah, I'm just trying to get my message out there. Lucky shut it down right away. Lucky Sun Zoom Hood Stocks shut the podcast down right away. He's like, oh, you're associating with dropouts, but then you can't come over and associate with me. And he shut down. And that's mostly how people feel. I've not done any interviews, and I have not hung out with any dropouts on YouTube. And I don't plan to. Gunner came to my live one time. Gunner came to my live and shot me five bucks. I, you know what I said? I said, oh, it's, it's a fake account. That's what I told everybody in the chat. Oh, it's not really Gunner. He shows up with his little thumbnail with his face. He's like, hey, what's up? Hey, gente. Blah, blah, And I said, oh, that's not Gunner. That is um, a, a troll account. Which to me, could have been 50-50. Flip a coin on if it is or isn't. I mean, at that time, there was a, a fake Instagram account of my brother. And, and my brother was going around asking everybody for money. Saying I told him to. And he'd use an emoji as a black hand. It's funny. Yeah, you had to been there. So there's, there's been all kinds of splinter fake prison POV accounts. They're out there, bro. I thought it's highly likely someone made a fake Gunner account and came over to the live talking shit. I thought that'd be more likely than it would be Gunner to come over to my live. It's like, hey, what's going on? Shot me five bucks. I mean, I wouldn't go on his live and be like, hey. But people are different. He did. He showed up. And, and he made a real big deal out of me calling him a troll channel, too. Oh, my. He went live. Oh my gosh, I just went over to Splinter's channel on his live, and he thought I was a troll. He thought he didn't think it was me. Well, here I am. I'm live to let you know. And it's like, man, it wasn't even that serious. But okay. So be that as a motherfucking may. We're talking about Dubs and Gunner. We're, I'm saying how I like Dubs. He reminded me of prison. 
Uh, Gunner's okay. I don't really know much about him other than being a dropout. I don't really associate with dropouts. He says we talked on Instagram. I suppose maybe we did. I don't recall. Be that as it may. Here's the question. Here's what's crazy. Here's what's a motherfucking trip. When I first started watching Dubs the channel, he would get 2,000 views, like I said earlier. But now if you go to Dubs the channel, he gets 15,000 views per video. His, his channel's had a big bump up. 15,000 views is a lot per video. I've never even been on that plateau where I drop a video and I get 15,000 views. I mean, my best performances back in the day when I was at the top of my game, I would drop a video and get 10,000 views. And as, as unstable as my channel was and as inconsistent and here I am today and now I'm gone tomorrow and just no consistency building my channel on sand instead of a solid foundation. I dropped viewers so I'm buying went from 10,000 to 7 to 5. Now I'm getting about 3. I post a video. 3,000 views. Hopefully it'll work up to 5. I'll build it up or I won't. I don't really give a fizz up. I know I got the point of view crew. I know people, there's a handful, a remnant that will always be there and be faithful. But bro, Dubs will get 2,000. Gunner's getting 15,000. And I figured that's why Dubs is trying to be his buddy buddy. And it worked. Because once Dubs and Gunner became buddy buddy and they start going live and they even met in person and had lunch and they probably did the, the drink thing where they had the arm and they like... I'm clowning. They did probably pinky promises. And they're buddy, but they actually met and hung out and kicked it. And it showed everybody. And it improved Dubs' channel like threefold. Next thing you know, Dubs is getting just like Gunner. 15,000. They're like a Dubs and Gunner. It's in everyone's mouth. They're getting all these great views. And everything is great. Now, I always, I have what I call my contemporaries. Since I'm a prison YouTube channel, I keep my eye on other prison YouTube channels. Just to look at them. I just pull them to see how their views are. How, how's it going with them? Are they still posting? Are they still around? What's, and so I, the other day I went and looked at Gunner's channel. And notice that fool is getting like two, 3,000 views per video. Five tops. His channel really went downhill. What happened? What happened to Gunner's channel? How come he was getting 15, 20, 50,000 views per video? Big, huge numbers. Rocking the Gucci glasses coming out, that big YouTube money, just balling out of control to just 3,000 views. What happened, man? And then I noticed he changed his channel from Gunners Collective to GCTV. But the big kicker is Dubs, who used to get 2,000, like I said, now he's getting 15,000 views per video. Good for you, Dubs. So this is kind of a mind blow if you think about it. The Dubs would get low views and he hooked up with Gunner who had high views. Now a year, some time goes by and now Gunner has low views and Dubs has high views. How'd that, ha how'd that happen? And why'd you change your name, Gunner? How come it used to be Gunner's Collective and now it's GCTV? I think that's inferior. I think Gunner Collective sounds way better than GCTV. But who am I? IMO. YOLO! Brother on this but let me address something you ever like you'll talk and then you'll say something and then, and then you meant to say something but you forgot at the time and later you're like oh yeah i meant to say something i'm gonna have to back up and crack into a sentence that i was expounding on about 10 minutes ago when i said dubs was complaining about his views and said my views are low it's because i'm raza and i was like Psh, get the fuck out of here you know, i think actually if you're raza it's gonna help you in this youtube game i think this Hispanics, bro, gente, as you call them, Raza, would get, bro, you have action on getting better views than anybody else. That's what I think. Because the biggest viewers are the Norteños. Every time I drop a Norteño video, that's my biggest video. So, bro, I, I feel like if I was L Splinter, if I was gente and Raza, I feel like I would be doing better. So, I disagree with you, Dubs. I think it's backwards. I think I'm getting low views because I'm white. What you talking about? I think you're doing great because you're because you're Raza. Not doing poorly because of it. Look at the demograph. Look at the viewers. They're all North Daniels and Southerners. And there's some woods out there and this and that, but come on now. Look at the demograph. And then you got two groups, North and South, to choose from. And now there's supposed to be one currently, supposedly, aren't they? So wow, look at all this chance you got people to come watch your channel. And then you could throw the hint day thing out there. Come on, hint day! Hinte, it's us. 
Raza. Hint, it's, it's us. We're a group. Let's do it for the people. You could, you could run that drag and get all kinds of people in. I can't run that drag. Come on, Woods. Come on, Whites. Come on, people. Let's do it for our race. Let's do it. I can... Can I come... Can I come and talk with that kind of lingo? No, I cannot. I'd get shut down hella quick, homeboy. You could do it, and it works. Hey, Hente. And just... Bro. Rounds up the troops, does it not? I think it does. So, what are we talking about? We're talking about dubs, and we're talking about Gunner. Dubs used to get shit views. Gunner was on fire. Dubs came, called Gunner out with a dance video, and they became buddy buddy. Then they both had screaming views, and now Gunner is doing shit views, and Dubs is on fire. Wow, what a trip! Could have never seen that coming. I used to be a big fan of Dubs. I kind of quit watching when he became buddy buddy with Gunner. It threw me off. I didn't really know it. I was like, what? I liked him when he was low view Dubs. Nice, humble dubs. The spitting stories from the California prisons. This level four, YA baby, lifer, killer dubs. I like that dude. And then, but when he came and he was like Gunner's buddy, I was like, what's his motive? Why is he doing this? Why is this active level four Southsider dude trying to be buddy buddy with a dropout North Daniel? What's the connection? What they're YA babies? What do they got to talk about? Why are they meeting up and freaking eating tacos together? But anyways, and I'm not just talking shit. They really did eat, meet up and ate. Tacos together on a video, homie. Hey, but that's you guys. I'm... Why, though? But anyways, that's that's when I personally quit watching Dubs' videos. Not because I got mad at him hanging off a gun, or I just... I don't know. I didn't know what he was doing. Threw me off. So anyways, I don't know if they're buddies anymore or not. If Dubs and Gunner are still buddies, Dubs, you help Gunner out. Throw him a lifeline. Dude, to, for Gunner, what Gunner did for you, bro. Come on, pull his views up out of the... The pit, dong. Gunner struggles. He's having to make like three videos a day just to get that 10K. Snarf, snarf. And then Dubs over here shining. What happened? Something happened. Crazy. I'm cussing. Let it fly. Peace.